TF2 is a pretty funny game. Look, see, funny things happening. And this is a list of all the things that will never ever stop being funny in TF2. And if you don't think they're funny, then you're a heartless robot who has lost their soul. Although technically robots don't have hearts or souls, but anyway. So here we go, in no particular order. T posing, or A posing, or the civilian pose, or the reference pose. We need more names for this pose. Technically it looks a bit more like an A than a T, but I don't think A pose has the same ring to it. This is a bug that's been around for years, and one that has brought me so much joy. Why is this so endlessly funny? And don't get me started on those floppy scout legs. There are other animation locks too that are equally hilarious. I was literally sitting on my own at home, chuckling at this guy staring at me on two fort. The earliest occurrence of this I could find was from eight years ago, but I'm so glad they still haven't patched it. This will never not be funny. Ragdolls. Ragdolls are one of the greatest things to have ever blessed this beautiful earth. Floppy bodies are funny, and they will never stop being funny. Sometimes you just stumble across a crumpled up corpse, or perhaps one dangling in a particular way, and it will just lighten up your day. I will often literally stop mid-game to admire a wonderful ragdolled body, and for some reason, it never gets old. Ragdolls flying through the air are even funnier, which leads us nicely to our next item. Kill binding. Seeing someone spontaneously explode or collapse into a pile of limbs is clearly going to be funny, and I'm pretty sure it's never going to stop being funny. People are not meant to explode, it's not in their nature, and therefore, this is funny. Look, here's me being a firework. I'm quite fond of exploding midair to provide anyone nearby with a spectacle and a shower of gibbs, but combine the killbind and the ragdoll and you have something truly exceptional, a match made in heaven. A body suddenly void of life getting flung into a wall or off a ledge will never ever get old. The Thrusting Sniper in this list, we have a few classics. Imagine the joy that someone had about 13 years ago when they looked over to their friend who was messing around in the spawn room. They were playing sniper, they happened to be crouching and looking up into the sky, and then they hit the zoom button, and the sniper did a spectacular thrust. TF2 characters are contractors hired to fight in intense battles, and are not really meant to be awkwardly crouching and thrusting into the air, and therefore, this is really funny. The earliest example of this I could find was from about 13 years ago, but you still find the occasional horny Aussie roaming casual servers to this day. And if a bot creator could please make some uh, thrusting sniper bots, that would be really appreciated, thank you. Standing on people's head. Humans who play video games have an inexplicable urge to stand on each other's heads whenever possible. For some reason, we cannot resist it, but I'm glad that this is the case because it's humorous and it makes me happy. Jumping on a stranger's head is not something that you get a chance to do very often in real life, so perhaps this is why we're drawn to it in the virtual world. It's a little bit ridiculous, it's illogical, and it's perpetually hilarious. Taunt kills. The most satisfying way to murder people in video games is the taunt kill, period. And TF2 is the king of taunt kills. It's difficult to pull off, but extremely rewarding when you do, and some even end with a ragdoll or a pile of gibbs, which really is just the icing on the cake. Being the victim of a taunt kill is the only time in the game that you get killed and don't really mind that much. There will never exist a time when a taunt kill will not be funny, and that's just a fact. They're so good that even when you fail miserably, they're still quite funny. The Spy Crab. The Spy Crab is as old as time itself, or about 14 years old, but somehow it still lives on to this day, and you can still occasionally find a stray spy crab lurking in the spawn rooms in a casual server. And maybe it's just ironic at this point, but it's still kind of funny. Not so much for the person doing it though. I always love watching this footage of people reacting to a spy crab, presumably one of the first times it was ever pulled off in 2008. What the f is with rare and dangerous crabs? <laughs> <laughs>
It's a piece of our culture at this point, it's a part of our heritage, and it's quite cool that Valve embraced the meme and turned it into a plush. Oh, and here's a real spy crab because um, Google showed it to me. Crouching. This might seem like an unusual one at first, but when you think about it, crouching in video games is pretty much always funny. The animations always look kind of ridiculous, and just the idea of it, seeing an enemy and then just immediately crouching and staring at each other, it's kind of funny. And it's almost become the universal stance of being friendly, so much so that even the Hoobie adopted it. Crouching is especially good when combined with peeking around corners, but what I love the most is when you catch a player doing it sincerely to try and be sneaky. Something about that will never fail to be funny. Moving taunts. Taunts are pretty good, but ones that move, well they're something special. Casually heading through a chaotic battlefield on a pneumatic drill, while enemies stare at you in bemusement, or perhaps even shoot at you. Well I'm sorry, it's never not going to be funny. Driving head on into the enemy front lines in a tiny tank, with a tiny tank hat on. Again, it's never not going to be funny. And you know what, it might be a little bit old, but when half the server is dancing around the payload, doing the conga, well, even that still brings a little smile to my face. And to be honest, some of the stationary taunts are pretty pretty darn good too. Bots. These are very funny and I literally can't stop laughing every time I see them. I'm laughing now, actually, deep down. Bonus funny. The nope ng meme. Memes normally die within the first approximately 12 seconds of their existence, but this one, I think it's kind of special, because whenever I see it, I still feel warm and fuzzy inside. It will never not be awesome. Nope. To finish off, here are some honourable mentions that nearly made it to the list. Meleeing friendlies repeatedly in the spawn room, staring at someone mid-battle, spamming the spy voice line, especially when staring at one of your teammates or a friendly, and friendlies in general. Some love them, some hate them, but usually seeing one in the middle of an intense fight is pretty funny. And by the way, in case you're wondering, market gardening is not funny because soldiers who completely humiliate me whilst showing off their immense skill in the middle of a fight are the worst and not funny. Okay, good. Did I miss any? Let me know in the comments below. I love you lots, and I'll see you guys in the next video.